In this video, we're going to be rooting the Motorola Photon 4G. This is on the very latest software update, 235, and I did a unroot using the same exact toolkit that I used to root it. As you'll see, there's no super user. There's no titanium backup. There's absolutely nothing on here. And I will go to the about phone real quick. As you will see, 235, build number 4.5.1a-1 underscore sun-254 underscore 13. So the very latest version where you cannot unlock the bootloader. But even if you unlock the bootloader to install a custom ROM, you lost 4G. So uh, in a, someone like me that cannot stand Sprint's terrible 3G service would just stick with the custom thing, run my own favorite launcher, and have root access so it's not rooted and i'm not signing to my google account absolutely nothing about this device this is completely stock 100 percent so what we're going to need to do is go to menu settings applications unknown sources i go ahead and check that just to be you know i just go ahead and do it and then development this is something you have to do usb debugging press ok and then we're going to hook this up in there once we get the ADB drivers installed on the computer. Alrighty, this video is going to show you how to root the Motorola Photon 4G. Yes, the original one, the one that doesn't have a keyboard. And this is on the 235 4.5.1a-1 underscore sun-254 underscore 13. So the very latest one. Now, I will have two links in the description. Hopefully, they'll be one of the first ones you see. This is the one that takes you to the XDA thread where you're actually going to download the tool that does it. And then this one, I had to Google the uh, ADB stuff for the drivers. And you, anyways, you click on the 64 bit. Oh, well, that one doesn't work. ADB Photon Drivers. Um. This was a second one I found. And then you can just click on the 64 bit or 32 bit. We are using a 64 bit, so obviously we're gonna choose this one. And then save it. I'm gonna go ahead and save it to my desktop. And then that's done. You can pretty much leave this page because from here on out, we're gonna do the video. And so you'll scroll down here until you get to download. And then you middle click on it or right click open new tab or just click on it. And then it'll take you to Mediafire and you click download and then you click that one again or you can click save which will put it in your downloads folder. So it's done. We're going to go to the photon thing. We're going to take this and extract it and then delete this one and then here's this one. We're going to take this and extract it. I'm using 7-Zip by the way. It's uh, open source and it's completely free and it's the best thing you'll ever use. And just double click on it and the next and then I agree and the next and then you just give it a minute to install. And it's going to be installing the drivers that you're going to need in order to root your Motorola Photon 4G. Okay, that was actually pretty quick. So now we're going to head over to the phone, and we're going to plug in the USB cable, and you know we have USB debugging enabled, so just plug it in. And now we're back at the computer, and it says installing the drivers, ready to use. You will have to wait for all of this to finish, otherwise the tool will not see it. I'm not sure why the networking interface failed but we're still gonna see if this works. Okay, so we're actually gonna go here, double click on it, and then if you have UAC enabled, then you're going to need to right click on it and choose run it as administrator. And then enter, or whatever key. The drivers are installed, we just did that. You can choose whether you have 32 bit or 64 bit and make sure USB debugging is on, which we just did that. So we're gonna go ahead and press enter again and we're gonna press one for root and it's going to check everything now at this point i highly recommend pressing this which makes it like much bigger and press this to go again sending torpedo to the phone setting permissions all right press it again and at this point you need to manually type in what you see on the screen so we're going to enter cd space dash data dash tmp enter then we're going to need to do 
dot slash p h o t o n dash torpedo dot s h enter and then we should see a little command prompt which we do so we're going to type in dot dash install dash s u dot s h enter and then we're going to type exit and then exit press any key to continue cleaning up the files rebooting phone is it going to reboot is it going to reboot come on reboot yes success we should have super user once the phone reboots all right looks like it's wrapping up about now Your device should be rooted. Press any key to continue. All right, so on our phone, we're gonna go over here to the app drawer and we're gonna look for super user. Show it. So we backed up one of our apps. We're gonna files, SD card, backups, apps, titanium, install, Open, allow root permission, check that out. How easy was that? I mean seriously, it pretty much tells you what to enter in. In the video I entered in exactly what it told me to and Titania Backup now has root permission and you can back up, restore stuff, you can uninstall um, system apps like uh, ad service or battery which whatever's red just be very very careful because if you delete something that you really needed you can't fix your phone because of the simple fact that there's no way to rsd light this phone back to 100 percent stock at the moment that i know of so we're going to menu batch backup all user apps and system data and then run that way, if our phone still boots up, we can actually go in there and restore stuff if we accidentally remove it or something. So this is something I highly recommend doing. I really hate the fact that Motorola locks this device down as much as they do, but what can you do about it? All right, so we're going to press any key to continue, and it closes out the application. Now, as you can tell, we are currently backing up all of our apps and system data. So again, if we do anything that's important, we can simply just restore it. And if you delete something that's important and your phone no longer boots up anymore, you're kind of screwed. Well, I guess you could go and do a factory reset, which is pretty easy. You just turn the phone off completely, hold the volume down and power button, and then you'll see like fast boot. Keep pressing down until you get to recovery. There's like seven or eight things before you see recovery. When you see recovery, press volume up. When you do that, it'll take a second and you'll get to like a little Android guy with the exclamation point. Just press the volume down and volume up at the same exact time. And then you'll see a menu for apply update.zip, uh, wipe cache, and wipe factory reset. I recommend choosing, you know, pressing volume down until you get to wipe cache, press power, and then, you know, go to yes, press power again, and then do the same thing for the factory reset. Go down to factory reset, and then press on it. It'll make you go down all the way down to yes. So keep pressing volume down until you hit yes. Press the power button again, and then it'll do a factory reset, and you can reboot system. And you should have everything working just the way it was before. Hopefully, using the same exact toolkit, we'll just open it, run as administrator. To unroot it, it's so simple. Just press two, press enter, and then it'll say like SU is detected, super user detected, busy box is detected, press any key to continue removing root, press enter, sending torpedo to phone, unpacking torpedo, press any key to continue, and then basically you do exactly like you did to root it. You type CD dash data dash TMP, enter. Just keep doing exactly like you did to root it, except enter these new options like kill dash su exit exit when you do that it'll clean up all the files it will root the phone 
and you will no longer have root and Sprint will not be able to tell you that you rooted your phone and your warranty will not be void. So that's how you unroot it. That's how you root it. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate it when you do that. It lets me know you enjoyed the video and you want to see more videos like it. Please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please consider hitting the subscribe button. I have all types of different videos on the Galaxy Note 2. I'm getting the Galaxy Note 3 when it comes out. I got videos on the Galaxy S3. I'm getting the Galaxy S4 when it comes out. I got videos on the Galaxy Nexus, the Evo 4 GLTE, so many devices. And I'm getting a Nexus 10 and a Nexus 7 very soon. Stay tuned. Again, please give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe. This is what we Josh do, and I'm out. I'm just getting started into commentating. I'm trying it out to see if I like it or not. There'll be an annotation on the screen and the link in the description to check out my WWJoshDO channel where I'll post those videos. Josh is Nice is a channel where I can upload videos from my phone and it's more like a vlog type style thing. Sometimes, you know, like a behind the scenes, stuff I don't quite feel belongs to my main channel. All links to everything I've talked about in this video and all the channels and stuff I'm talking about right now will also be down below.